This is an example of a schematic page in Visio. The purpose of this page type is to show the wiring of a system within a project. So the properties of these shapes are as follows. Let me go ahead and pull one over. From the project data matrix, I'll pull an amplifier. The shape will drop automatically and list the inputs on the left and the outputs on the right. And those are based on the specifications for this product. If I double click the product, you can see on the specifications tab, these are my inputs and these are my outputs. Now you have a couple options when you right click these that aren't available to other shapes. You can show uh, signals and show terminals or neither or one or the other. Um, show terminals top to bottom will flip the order in which these display on the page. So I can show terminals top to bottom this way for this particular shape when it's selected on a right click. Another right click option, let me go over to a connected shape. So if I right click this, you'll see it's show connected terminals. And what that does is since I only have one connection on this particular product, when you choose show connected terminals, it will collapse the shape so only the connected terminals display. I'll show you that. Do that, it'll just go down to that one connection. If you want to undo that, you can simply right click and uncheck that. Now that's specifically for for one shape on this page but you can do it globally as well. There are wiring options for this page that are only available on the schematic page and you can see that under the wiring options. Uh, the wire wizard, auto wire, and auto layout will be discussed in other videos. Uh, but for this purpose I'm just going to go to the options and you'll see that you can show connected terminals only and show I.O. terminals from top to bottom globally for the page if you choose. Cancel that. I'm going to show you the wiring now. If I zoom in down here a little bit for this particular product over here, I'll move it out. I'm going to pull a wire over to the page and again I'm going to pull an existing wire from the project data matrix. So when I select this wire drag it over. I'll grab an end of the wire, a little green end, and make a connection. And the connections turn red when you actually get close to a connection point on the shape. I'm not showing the connection points, but if you want to see them, you can always turn on connection points. and You'll see the little blue X's for each one of the connection points. Let me zoom out slightly. I'm going to drag this end over closer to this shape. It's where I want to connect it. and I'm going to zoom in and make the connection. Grab this end, so I select the shape, drag it, make your connection. Zoom back out. That's how you can wire uh, a system within SI5.